Good morning, my dear friends. Thank you for joining me. I am truly waking up and I have my coffee. So thank you for waking up with me. Um, I also want to thank you for your patience over the last few videos. I believe I have found a microphone that works well for this particular channel. Um, I admittedly spent a little bit more money than I wanted to, but I think that the sound is probably where I want it. And thank you for your patience. Some of the videos were too faint. Some of them were grating. <laughs> so I think I found the solution. Thanks for bearing with me. Today I have something really special for you today, which is a new candle company, at least for this channel. So the candle company is La Montagna. I believe that's how you say it, but who knows. La Montagna is a mountain a mountain village right outside of Madrid, Spain, which is kind of in the middle of the country. Um, this is actually a UK company though, um, an English company. And it's run by a husband and wife team, Cassandra Hall and Jonathan Hall. And they have apparently a vacation home or a retirement home in Spain, actually on the coast in the um, Valencia region, which is what we know from, or what we attribute to the um, Valencia orange area, right on the Mediterranean. They have taken their name though from La Montaña, which is in the middle of the country, and it has to do with an actual mountain. Um, Cassandra and Jonathan Hall reveal on their website that the little village that they're living in is actually a mountainous, little village. And so most of their scents are inspired by kind of a mountainous um, geography or culture or ecosystem, um, but some by the Mediterranean as well. They have 12 candles. They're all eight ounce like this. Um, although one of them seems like it's not available right now and we'll get to that in a second. I've had my eye on this company for a little bit and I've wanted to try them, but they would be considered more of a luxury candle, a more of a luxury price point. So all of their candles are eight ounce and they're all $50, um, which for many of us is a lot to spend on a candle. And I know that there are candles out there that spend, that cost even more. Um, but especially if you are trying to buy a candle sight unseen, you've not smelled it, you're ordering for it, it's really hard to take a chance on that kind of a price point. And I get it. Um, I had a birthday recently and I just thought to myself, I burn a lot of candles, but I, I really want to kind of splurge on one that's super special for my birthday. And this was what I decided to do because I just couldn't think of a candle company that was more of a luxury um, price point that I, I really was kind of in love with. And I've tried a lot, um, well not a lot, but you know, I'm aware of like Nest, Nest, Joe Malone, you know, those type of luxury candles, Diptych. Um, I've gone into Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom's, I've smelled them. I've burned a couple of them, not Diptych, but um, Joe Malone and Nest. Not been terribly impressed with the burn. I do think they're a little overpriced and hyped. Boy smells, um, what else? Siri Tridone, oh, I'd give anything for that, but those are like extraordinarily expensive. Anyway, um, this channel is all about exploring candles and home fragrances at every price point. I literally have a couple Aldi candles that are in the rotation and are definitely gonna be reviewed in the next week. So everything from Aldi to a more luxury price point, although for me personally, I have to indulge very sparingly in luxury candles, and I think that's probably the case for most of you as well. Um, we just have to consider more before we fork out that kind of money for a candle, especially that we haven't smelled before. It's one thing to take a chance on an Aldi candle or a Bath and Body Works candle or a Yankee candle or a Kringle candle, a reserve candle, whatever it is. It is a lot harder to do that for a candle that's extraordinarily expensive. Um, but I think, and I have not burned these and the proof is in the burning. So this is just an introduction but I think I may have found the company that is just for me. It's for me. I love all of these scents and I love the aesthetic. 
So let's get into it. Let's do a little bit of background. First of all, Jonathan, and I will of course link the website for La Montagna book down below. They're a relatively new company, but I would say within the last like 10 years. Um, all of their candles are eight ounce. And for those of you who really care, it is also um, cruelty free. It is organic. It is all the things. Um, the wax is, I believe, a combination of soy, rapeseed, and beeswax. So no paraffin, and they make a very, and they make a point of that on the website. Absolutely no paraffin for those of you who are into that sort of thing. I'm not quite as paraffin repulsed, but I know a lot of people are, especially now. Um, it's kind of a, it's a movement. It's a wave. <laughs> so these don't have that. Um, it is a relatively small mom and pop company. <laughs> I, I, I had an issue with something and I emailed, they literally give the emails of the founders on the website and I just emailed Cassandra Hall about something and she got back to me within like an hour. So it's really cool, the customer service. Um, and, and there is free shipping in the US and in Canada, which is incredible as well. Um, free shipping and relatively accessible. So I got these off of the Macy's website, actually. They sell them on Macy's.com. They may sell them other places as well. Um, I have <laughs> a Macy's credit card. Macy's is one of my favorite stores. I actually used some Macy's credit card points on, or not, yeah, I think it's with the credit card. Um, uh, they give you like Macy's um, points and dollars, etc. you know? So I used, I had $20 um, dollars Macy's points and that took this down to like 30. I have seen them go on sale on the Macy's website not often but they do and also I have signed up on the website um, for La Montagna and they ran like a Mother's Day sale which it was like Mother's Day UK which was like a month ago or something but they ran a 20% discount um, for Mother's Day as well so I, there are discounts to be had. You won't necessarily have to get it at $50, but I think that you have to assume that that's gonna be more of the general um, rule. So let's talk about the scents, and actually I have a little bit of an unboxing for you because I just, I, I picked this one up, and as you can see, it's still in cellophane. I haven't opened it up. And I also bought this one. I just ripped it open right before this candle, but I wanted to show you um, what, the box comes in. So here was the box that I got from Macy's, but as you can tell, it's actually being shipped from La Montagna, or or rather, they've shipped um, many of these to Macy's and to the Macy's distribution center, and then they're just shipped directly um, from Macy's in this package. So Macy's isn't boxing them up, La Montagna is, and this is exactly what you're getting. Obviously, packing list, okay. And then they give you this like lovely little card. All of their decor on their candles is inspired by 1930s travel posters. And you'll see that as we kind of go through. So they give you this little card and it like is from the founders. They like tell you a little bit, etc., etc. Here, this is what is so important though and really cool. Macy's, the ones at least that they have shipped from Macy's. I cannot speak to the ones that have been shipped from the company themselves. They will include this discovery set, which is incredible. So I actually have another one from the candle that came before, and actually I bought one not knowing these were gonna come in the box. I went ahead and bought one from the company itself. Again, free shipping. It's $20, let me show you what it looks like, Sense of Spain. This is a discovery set. All of the scent oils of the various different candles, they put in one of these like little travel perfume samples right here. And then you can read them off. First Light, Alfredo's Cafe, etc. They give you these little um, tester strips. I went ahead and wrote the names and obviously it smeared a little bit, um, but yeah, I sprayed all of them. Um, and this is fantastic, this is $20. Um, but if you buy it off of the website, they will give you a $15 credit, store credit, for uh, to buy a candle. So really it's only like $5. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you decide to go ahead and buy something off of the website, which is really fantastic. Also, they do have like, if you want to get on their email um, list or whatever, they'll give you an extra 10% off on your first purchase, etc. So super cool. I know Kringle was thinking about doing something similar to this. Um, and some companies do. I'm so glad this is just a really savvy company. Like they even have like ingredients for, they're being super transparent about like all of their scents here. So anyway, I now have several of these. I'm not gonna open them up. I'll probably gift them to friends or whatever. Super cool. For those of you who are buying this sight unseen, how fantastic is that, right? Oh, all right. So I went ahead and sprang for First Light, which I think was actually their very first candle. Um, it was the one that kind of inspired the entire range of candles. Um, this one says a unique intoxicating blend of wild aromatic, aromatic, I'm sorry, mountain floral. So fennel, rosemary, mountain pepper, and rock rose. I think on the website it also mentioned bergamot. And then it lists first light is La Montagne's, La Montagne's signature fragrance in the sense that it was our original inspiration, the fragrance of our new mountain home. So I think this was their first one and it is one of their best sellers. Um, and I can smell it through the package. <laughs> I smelled it on here too. And I was like, yes, this is what I'm getting. It's a very austere, herbal, alpine herbal, like sharp, you know, obviously with the rosemary, with the black pepper. Um, this is not like a soft, vibrant green um, herbal, but obviously more of a, I'm not sure if it's a coniferous kind of herbal. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not a botanical expert. What category of herbs rosemary would be in, but you know what kind it is. It's not like basil or tarragon or something like that. It's, um, you know, spiky, <laughs> spiky. Lavender can be that way as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Ooh. And let me tell you, man, the scent is just coming out. This reminds me very much, and this is probably not gonna be a frame of reference for a whole lot of people. My favorite signature, I'm not like a huge perfume person, um, fine fragrance, but <laughs> the finest fragrance that I own that I consider to be like my trademark fragrance is one from an Italian company, Bottega Veneta. And they have many different fragrances. They came out with their original one within the last 10 years. So they're, they're fair. It's a leather company, um, leather um, uh, uh, apparel, etc. Um, but they came out with their first fragrance like within the last 10 years. Fantastic. I just like the original one. Anyway, they have this line of perfumes called Parco Palladiano, I think, something like this. And they're all inspired from nature. And when I was smelling all of these, I thought this is like the Parco Palladiano line. I mean, they just all smell like extremely expensive, fine fragrance um, scents. And they are all kind of inspired by something herbal, something um, natural, etc. cetera. Oh, oh my gosh, so fantastic. Okay, so unboxing. Nice little box, right? All right? And my friends, here you go. First look, first light. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a frosted glass. Um, and then it's got this etched lid, which is really nice because sometimes it's amazing how many even like luxury fragrance companies, like you'll get it and it just won't have a lid. Especially if you're going to burn it sparingly, it's just really nice to have a lid. So one wick, which is kind of like, ugh. but it's a small, obviously it's a small um, diameter. So let's hope that it'll be fine burning. I mean, if it's not, and for some reason, if it's even a bad burn, this is the kind of thing you would want under like a candle lamp, which I don't actually own, but I'm gonna get one. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. It is extremely herbal, but there is something soft and sweet underneath it, which I wasn't catching on the, um, when I just opened it or I smelled it from the box in the cellophane. It's not musky. It's like, it's not even like sandalwood necessarily. 
or vanilla, maybe a little bit of floral, I don't know, but it's really soft and sweet underneath it, which is giving it depth and range so that it's not just like a very thin, brittle kind of fragrance. This is apparently inspired by like the morning hours where everything is fresh and clean and especially on the mountain, you can just really smell those herbs. Man, this is incredible. It really is. I mean, even if it has a limited throw, this is the kind of candle that you set up in your like master bathroom or I have a table, you know, a nightside table by my bed and sometimes in the evening, you know, just light a little something and that's just for you. I wouldn't expect these to fill your house, but it's a pretty strong scent on cold. So all bets off, maybe it will be good. I mean, obviously they've taken care they say they've got the finest scent oils, etc., cetera, and great combination. Oh my gosh, I love it. I am, as you know, not really a gourmand person and I'm much more of a vegetal botanical kind of girl. And I also like masculine smells. So, Every single one of these scents I really enjoyed. With the exception, there are two Christmas ones, Three Kings and Winter Oranges, which is one of their best sellers. Valencia Orange, Cinnamon, Clove, Palmander, etc. Um, it's one of their favorites. It wasn't my favorite. Three Kings wasn't either, which is Cedarwood, Frankincense, and Myrrh. Those are the two holiday candles. All the rest of them I really loved. One of their, I would say probably their second best seller from what I can tell is Alfredo's Cafe, which is black tobacco, coffee, and brandy. And then it also has hints of leather and incense as well. So it's gonna be your deeper, more masculine scent. It is fantastic. And I lean a little bit masculine too. So I, it's, and, and they even say on the website, it is, is definitely their most complex fragrance and the one that they work the hardest on. Um, so Alfredo's Cafe I think is gonna be a real standout as well. And I almost got it for my second candle, but I decided instead to go for Fig Grove because I love figs. And I can't believe that I haven't reviewed any fig candles on this um, channel yet. I think I have like 17 or 18 of them. I am obsessed in figs and I'm so excited about the new Kringle Reserve line that has a nice fig candle. Oh my gosh, I need it, I need it, I need it. Okay, so the box says here, there's a rocky trail from our house to the next village and on a hot day, it's a treat for the senses all the way. A dip in the path brings you to a grove of ripe fig trees where you fall under the heady spell of the fruit bark and leaves. I love that. I love it when it's like the entire botanical organism. Yeah. Mingled with the fragrance of a nearby cascade of wild jasmine in full flower. Oh my gosh. And you know what I love about this is that I'm getting fig primarily. But it's like not a sweet fig. It's not a candy fig. Oh my gosh, I feel like I can smell the tree. Like if somebody just broke like one of the branches and then you smelled it. It's that kind of vegetal botanical smell, obviously combined with the scent from the actual fig as well. And then yes, underneath is white floral, jasmine, um, which is lending it a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of softness for sure. And here you go, my friend, Fig Grove. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's a wow. It's a lot though. It is heady. It's really heady. But you would kind of expect from like fig, a fig scent goes automatically lush and rich. Wow, I'm really excited. Now, again, when I was smelling it from the cellophane, I got more vegetal, and then when I smell it, I'm getting more of the refined floral tree element mixed together. I'm really interested to see like what the top notes are, what the, you know, what comes forward when it's burned. All right, I know I've belabored, this is a long video, but I'm just really hoping they perform well because I love every scent here. I think they're sophisticated. 
<clears throat> I mean, it's great when you buy an expensive candle and you just, it feels expensive. It feels thoughtful. It feels like fine, you know, because you don't want to burn a candle like that all the time, or at least mo most of us can't. I love my Aldi's. I love my Kringle. I love my Bath and Body Works, etc. you know? But when you spend this much money for a candle like this, you want to get all of your money's worth. You want to feel like it's not just something you could buy at Bath & Body Works or buy from Kringle, you know? In every respect, packaging, performance, scent, the whole aesthetic, right? It's the way it makes you feel when you smell it, when you burn it. And if it doesn't make you feel radically different than something that you would buy from Kringle or Bath & Body Works, in my opinion, it's not worth it. Thank you, no. Thank you, next. Um, <laughs> I don't have the money to spend on something that can be done just as well by some other company that's using much cheaper um, products. Um, because those all have their loveliness as well and their enjoyment. It's an everyday enjoyment. And I'm very happy with them. Anyway, close parentheses. I know we didn't go, I even had listed all of the notes of the ones I was interested in. The one that is not available on the website anymore is one called Sacred Roses, which when I smelled it in here, I was like, yes. And I'm not even a huge rose person, but it is amazing. I get the sense it was one of their more original ones. It has rose, geranium, orange flower, um, narcissus, um, which, I, I mean, listing those, I'd be like, no, this is gonna be heavy, it's gonna be perfumey and all flowery and old fashioned, and no. It does say lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood. And all I can say is when I smell it, it has a depth and a darkness that you wouldn't expect from that kind of a floral. And they do say some, you know, rhetorical stuff about like being in a church, mystical, etc. So I don't know exactly what the list of notes is on the Sacred Rose, but weirdly that would be on my short list to purchase again. Unfortunately, it's not available. All of the candles that are currently available are available on Macy's.com and also from the website themselves. I'm sure they would love for you to buy off of their website. And guess what? Free shipping. So either wait for a sale, sign up for that extra 10% being on their subscription list. I've only gotten one email from them, so you're not gonna be deluged with a ton of like spammy emails, but when there's a sale, they'll definitely let you know. Um, I'm impressed with this company for being a mom and pop company and being, like I said, so accessible with the free shipping and the discovery scents um, and being in a store like Macy's. I mean, you're not gonna walk into a Macy's and find them, but they're at macy's.com. Um, it's really impressive to have that kind of accessibility and reach. So I'm really, really happy about it. Check them out. I'll definitely keep you posted about how it is that they burn, but I'm like a really huge fan something to think about. I'll see you in the next one.